There was not much more to it. That night, they embraced, then separated, aware that such intimacy was premature. She had only come to inform him that her father had acceded to her employment by the sorcerer's son and wanted to know the rate of pay. She would come in the morning for work. Yes, of course, Parry agreed. He was so relieved that she had come that he had no concern for the details. He guided her to the fire and brought her bread and milk. I should do that, she said. Tomorrow you shall, he said, smiling. My father thinks I am to be your mistress, she confided. He wants an extra coin for that. He shall have it, Parry agreed before he thought. She averted her gaze. Then it is true? Only if you wish it. I told you before. You desire me? Yes. But will not force me? Yes. And if I do not wish it? Parry spread his hands. I want only what you wish to give. She shook her head. I do not understand you, Parry. He tried to explain. I could pay a village girl, and she would do whatever I asked because of the money. But she would not love me, only my money. I want your love, and that I cannot buy. 